Hey, what's up guys? We're here at Lily's Pizza. Uh, maybe not the newest pizza joint, but hey, we're here to show you all their new twists. I'm Matt Trammell, and this is a new episode of Trammell Eats. Hey guys, we're here with Fernando uh, Fuentes. He's the owner of the Chad Tab, and he's also owner of this beautiful place right here, right in here in West Avenue Inn. It's Lily's Pizza. Fernando, how are you doing today? Doing really good. How are you doing, boss? Hey, man, not too bad. So, uh, what made you maybe keep the name or uh, decide to even come in here and keep this pizza joint? Well, Beckham is a good friend of mine, and uh, he opened up Zentner's Dollars. Uh, the police, which is a great place, right. uh, a great place to visit. Well, it's a monster over there. So pl this place kind of suits more my what I need because I'm not the rest of the material. I will be now. So we're keeping everything the same as far as just the pizza, the wings, and I'm as actually now I'm adding uh, incorporating the Rojos, which is now called Nanjos. I'm uh, kind of a young guy, so I wasn't there when yeah. uh, Shakey's was around, but you were trying to fill me in a little bit, fill them in a little bit. What is a Nanjo or a Rojo? Uh, Shakey's is a local legend. Uh, back when I was growing up, uh, Shakey's Pizza Parlor was in town on Shorewood Way, uh -huh. and they had these Rojos. Now, I've worked on this recipe for a good 25 years plus, at home, of course, and I made a mess every time that I made, made these Rojos. I tweaked them up pretty good, and I've got these Rojos Nanjos, Nanjos, because my name is Nando. Yeah. But uh, I've got this down pretty close to our old recipe. I'm telling you, they look delicious, but uh, yeah. enough talking about it. Let's, let's go ahead and knock it out. Yes, sir. All right, well, in my opinion, if you want to judge a good pizza, you have to be traditional. And what better way to show y'all that this is the best pizza in San Angelo with the pepperoni pizza. This thing is one thing massive, that's for sure. Oh, on this pizza, we got the cheese, we got the pepperoni, and the just the hand-tossed crust right here. This is all handmade in-house right here. Let's check it out. Mmm. You can tell all fresh ingredients in this. You can definitely tell the hard work that was put in this. Man, this Lily's Pizza is definitely, if not the best pizza in San Angelo. <laughs> Lily's is known for their enormous pizzas, but hey, if you're on the go or by yourself, don't worry. Pizza by the Slice is coming soon to Lily's. Uh, so if you don't have a huge stomach, don't worry. You can still get your Lily's Pizza anytime. So the nachos, they got the buffalo sauce on them. They got a little ranch on them. Plus you have the, the classic fried batter. These right here are the way to go. Hmm. Jeez, man. I wasn't around for Shakey's, but if these were as good as Shakey's, heck, I'm in. Whether you're looking for pizza, or you're looking for nachos, or looking for anything Italian in between, just come on down here to Lily's Pizza. Come say what's up to Fernando at 2424 Van Deventer, and uh, just come enjoy it. I'm Matt Trammell, and this is another episode of Trammell Eats. 